Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of the All Things Wild Creature Feature, a series in which I talk about some of the amazing animals we get to share this planet with. The last video we talked about kind of the origins and the history of the traveling circus as a whole in regards to um, their connection to the animal kingdom. This time we're going to look specifically at what acts you might see in a circus. Shall we? Equestrian acts were the first animal circus acts. Trick riding, um, competitions of speed, things like that. But those soon took a back seat to exotic wildlife. Now the first use of exotic wildlife in the circus was as a traveling menagerie, a sort of zoo on wheels as it were. But circus owners, ringmasters, soon figured out that people would pay top dollar to see outstanding, fascinating feats of mastery over the animal kingdom. And one of the most popular sights of the circus was the lion tamer. Lion tamers displayed their bravery by controlling these magnificent large cats. Um, they would use whips to show their uh, control over the animal. They would somewhat even go so far as to stick their heads into the gaping jaw of a lion and trust that it wouldn't, you know, crush them. Don't try that at home, kids. Elephant parades were also very common. One of the most common animals you would see in a circus was the elephant, and many circuses had these as their crown jewels, especially the smaller ones. There was, there was power to bring in people with an elephant, if you know what I mean. And because of their intelligence, elephants could be trained to answer to any number of commands. They could dance, they could stand on stools, they could throw a ball back and forth, they could pull very heavy things. Elephants were where it was at. Another common sight, this one though, more of the sideshow than the uh, big top, was a snake handler or a snake charmer. And a huge exotic pythons, deadly cobras, were displayed and interacted with and charmed by the snake charmer, much to the thrill, excitement, and probably anxious nerves of the paying audience. Surprisingly, bears had their opportunity to shine at the circus, and oftentimes they were made to spar or box with a human participant, very staged, of course, or they would be taught to ride on unicycles. A bear in a unicycle. I love it. Later additions to circuses were performing dog acts, and this actually makes a lot of sense. Dogs are more manageable, easier to train than a lot of exotic animals, and they are a heck of a lot less deadly. So you would see dogs do things like jump through hoops, sometimes on fire, sometimes not. You'd end up with a hot dog in some cases. But dogs became very, very popular. Little kids love dogs, and little kids are, let's face it, they're the ones who circuses wanted to fill the seats with because with little kids came their parents, with their parents came their parents' money. All right, we're gonna go ahead and end this creature feature. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have any memories of going and seeing circus animals, what your favorite thing might've been. Um, they aren't too common anymore, so, you know, it's really interesting to see what people might remember. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Um, follow the links down below to some pretty interesting stuff. As always, this is Zach. Have a wild day, everyone.